Greetings to our Denton ISD families, students, faculty, and staff. Uh, I come to you this, this evening with a heavy heart. Um, as Governor Abbott announced in his executive order this, this uh, afternoon that um, we would no longer have traditional school for the remainder of the school year. Um, I come with a heavy heart because there's so many activities for our students towards the end of the year. Um, our teachers haven't seen our students since spring break face to face and it, and it really is an empty feeling for all of us um, to, to know that um, we, don't, we don't get to see our kids again during this school year um, face to face. Um, so just know our hearts are heavy today. Um, we're gonna continue working through delivering instruction through the end of the school year, um, May 22nd at Denton ISD, uh, through online resources and remote learning. Um, and we'll, we'll plan on and, and keep working through that as, as we have been. Uh, but, but for now, we know that coming back to the brick and mortar school is out of the question um, for the 1920 school year. A couple of other things that I think are of the positive nature. Um, we've rescheduled graduation. Um, we are planning on having graduation if we can have it um, and if we can get groups together um, at C.H. Collins Athletic Complex, 9 o'clock in the morning, June 22nd for Billy Rond High School, 9 a.m., June 23rd for Ray Braswell High School, 9 a.m., June 24th will be a makeup day in the event that we get a complete washout on Monday or Tuesday of that week, we can make it up on Wednesday morning um, of that, that week so that nobody has to be out of town any longer than necessary. Uh, June 25th for John Gower High School, 9 a.m. And June 26th for Denton High School, 9 a.m. And then June 27th, that Saturday, will be a makeup date for those two dates. So um, some of our area school districts will be using our facility at night. Um, we will work through those, those uh, days on the 22nd, 23rd, 25th, and 26th. Fred Moore High School, um, we will have a graduation ceremony for them also at CH College on Sunday, June 21st. Um, it will be in the evening, in the 7, 7.30 time frame. We're just going to kind of measure the temperature and as we get closer, um, see how that works. It will be live streamed, so we'll be able to send that information out to whoever um, if we are able to have it in our facility, no, we'll be practicing social distancing, asking people to sit, sit with who they rode with in small groups, six foot away from others, um, and really limit the number of people that we choose to have in the stadium at that time. Uh, we just ask that you help us through that, and we'll get more details later. But just be thinking through that, the, the thought of having 30, 40 people there is probably not best for anyone um, as, we're, as we're thinking through what to do. Um, also, our meal service, we're going to continue serving meals to our students who need it. Um, we have really um, created an, an amazing service for our community um, in that going into this week, we had served over 150,000 meals. Um, and then on Wednesday, just on Wednesday, when we tried to do a one-day pickup for uh, five days worth of breakfast and five days worth of lunch, we served 68,000 meals to our students and to our families. And so we definitely know there's a need there. And we're gonna to work to continue how to make that process even better. Um, the biggest issue is we gave away uh, and distributed every bit of food that we had um, on Wednesday. And that's how big the need is in our community. So if you have any resources at all that you can donate to the food banks or anything along those lines, please do that. There's also plenty of resources on our website for health and wellness. Please go there and, and look to that. Pre-K registration is moving forward. We're planning towards the 2021 school year. Um, and just know we come to you today with a heavy heart that we won't get to see our students face to face. But we're excited that we get to continue to see them virtually. Um, have a great day. Um, have, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your time as a family together. Take care.